This meeting is being recorded. Uh, welcome to the webinar today. Uh, we are going to go through the TR uh, 60 days tourist visa guidance and uh, Jasmine and I will explain for the step and also uh, the supporting document that you will need to use. So uh, for your visa, it's a 60 days tourist visa. The to-do list for you is to book the flight and also uh, the purchasing of the travel insurance and you have to share the flight and the insurance to us as well. And then you apply for the TR, the 60 day tourist visa. <clears throat> so there are four types of the visa that uh, the teacher come here. They are coming as a visa exemption. This is for the uh, South African people and also the tourist visa, this is a 60 days tourist visa. And this visa is for you and you have to apply it before you arrive here. And the non-B visa, which is a working visa. And the non-O visa, it is a, a volunteer visa and it's only three months duration for this visa. So it's not uh, the same visa on everyone in the program will come it depends on your condition, your circumstance, your duration of stay. So if you found some information which the other participant come different visa from you, so it's normal. And please be careful on the visa application that is, is a 60 days tourist visa. It's not uh, the special tourist visa. Some people uh, apply to the STV is, which is special tourist visa, which is not correct. You have to apply the tourist visa only. Okay, um, for the visa overview, it's uh, for you to start apply it immediately as a 60 days tourist visa or TR. And for your passport book, you have to have the blank page, at least uh, one page for your visa on, but we advise you should have at least three pages on that. And validity of your passport is uh, six months. For the e-visa, uh, e the online application available for the people from the US, the UK and the Canadian people, the Australian and New Zealander have to apply it manually by post. And also it proceeds around 15 working days <clears throat> until approved. And for the tourist visa, you will need to have uh, the exit flight from Thailand with, uh, within the visa time frame. <clears throat> so some frequently asked questions specifically with the online application for those countries Gib just mentioned. Um, they do ask some strange things and they are ever changing. So if you ever get stuck on any questions, please let Gib Cassidy or Jordan know anytime. Um, but yes, they would like you to take a selfie with your passport, so your passport open like this with your face in the background. Um, they also ask you um, where you've been for the last 12 months. So the easiest way to prove this is to upload every stamped page of your passport. Even if it's completely blank, you just got a new one, it doesn't matter. Um, if you upload the blank pages or stamped pages, this is what they're asking essentially. Um, an invitation letter. So you won't have an invitation letter as you'll be starting out on a tourist visa. Um, this may change down the line, specifically if you're doing our paid teach program, it definitely will change. You'll change onto a working visa, but you will enter Thailand on a tourist visa. So you don't need to say that anybody, any specific person is inviting you. Um, you just need to pop in your hotel booking for this section. And then any questions based on your jurisdiction of where you live, um, this is asking this question because in some countries, such as the US, they have different visa op um, offices around the country that correlate with where you live from a specific state, um, which I'll show you in a few slides time. Um, but what they're asking you here is to just show a legal document that shows your name and address on it. So maybe your passport, if it shows on that one your driver's license or a bank statement, anything that shows your name and address so they can prove that you live from that specific state and then send your visa to be processed to the one of the four 
or in Canada, one of the two, Australia, one of the two, and a lot of other countries only have one offices to process your visa. And there will be other odd questions come up as it's ever changing. So if it does, if there's anything you're unsure of, please let us know. Okay, so for the next step that you have to do uh, before apply the tourist visa, you have to book the flight. So please book the flight to arrive around uh, three days before the intake date and you will have the airport pick up from the airport to drop at Forum Park Hotel. We booked the room uh, on Sunday night for you, which is the share room. And if you prefer the single room, please uh, email to us. And the private room, it's uh, gonna be the cost by yourself as uh, the cost that we cover is uh, only the share room. And uh, if you would like to arrive earlier, we suggest to not arrive earlier than a week as you have to have the time for your changing visa from the TR, the tourist visa, to be the non-B visa, which is the working visa. And when you book the flight, we recommend you to book with the airline directly or the agent that uh, you uh, trust. And when you have to change the flight, maybe uh, you can negotiate to not charge for the change fee. And then uh, we will send you the booking of the hotel that uh, it is the accommodation in Hua Hin. This is for the visa application only that you can have it as a reference on the application. The place that you stay here, it might not be uh, as on the document that we send to you now, but this is just for the application only. Now for applying for your e-visa. So once again, countries, US, UK, Ireland, and Canada, um, you can apply only online. Um, so the link below is just here. It will be attached in the body of the email as well. Um, every country will apply on the same link and you just follow the steps below with the strange questions along the way to apply online. So a bit of the process. First, you send in a photo of your self-passport style. So preferably with your ears showing and um, you can smile, but with your mouth closed a little bit. Um, nice and professional, good lighting. Um, you can take a photo of a photo if you have to, and also upload a scan of your passport page, including the page next to it, open like a book um, and state your employment, which is either your previous employment that you just finished from current, or you can also write unemployed. Then we've got your travel information, which give, mentioned that we will send to you. So you can attach that here as well. And any supporting documents. So the declaration form is eventually being phased out. So you may or may not need it, depending on what the questions ask of you. And then your travel booking confirmation, so flight details and your exit flight from Thailand. So I'd like to quickly touch on this one. Um, so this is not an Explorasia requirement. It's a Thai law requirement. And Thai law does state that anybody entering the country on any form of a tourist visa must state their intentions to leave Thailand also. So they have to have an exit flight from the country. They don't care where you go. Um, so what people usually do in this instance is book a cheap flight to the nearest neighboring country, whatever is cheapest on Skyscanner. I would never recommend to book your normal flight to Thailand on Skyscanner as it can be very difficult to change. However, if you are booking a flight that you won't actually take, Skyscanner is probably one of the cheapest options. So I can recommend it for that one. If you would like to book a flight back home, um, because it does need to be within the 60 days and you are definitely going to be staying longer than 60 days in Thailand, um, you can try to do this. Just make sure it's a flexible flight so you can change that return date to a date that you will actually use. Um, however, with airport taxes and everything included, um, it doesn't often work out in people's favor to book the return flight with the flexible um, return section of it. Um, so most people do just book this burner flight to the cheapest neighboring country to show immigration your proof um, of leaving. Um, on this note also, sometimes they don't ask for it, which is very annoying because you went to the, the effort of booking it um, if they don't ask for it, you got lucky, but if they do ask for it and you don't have it, they can deport you back to where you came from. 
or they can make you purchase one on the spot, which can be double, triple the cost if it's um, within a close time frame. So we do highly recommend and it's legally required to have an intended exit flight from Thailand if you are entering on any tourist visa. Then you've got your proof of accommodation, your financial evidence. Um, this is another requirement from Thai law. They do require that you have at least $700 US equivalent um, to prove that you can um, take care of yourself while you're traveling in Thailand, essentially. So this is legally required. It also states um, that it's legally required in cash. Um, um, I know that for the application, you need to prove that it's in your um, bank account. But for arriving in Thailand, you also need to have this technically in cash. I don't know anybody who has been asked to see it in cash, but it's legally required. So we do recommend that you bring it in. Um, remember, it's equivalent of uh, 700 US dollars. So if your currency is Australian, New Zealand, um, a European, UK currency, um, it's fine that it meets that equivalent. Um, just South Africans, we don't recommend bringing in South African Rand. And you can either change this to Thai baht or keep it in your local currency and bring it over as well. But you will be showing that you have this in like a bank statement, a screenshot or even of your net banking to apply for your visa, but it is legally required to bring it in as well. So just a reminder. And then confirmation of your legal address in your country. Um, this is just another photo or, or scan of your driver's license, passport, bank statement, anything that shows your name and your ad address on it once again. And just as I mentioned before, so this is a map of the US and what state correlates with the four Thai embassies within the country. Um, so this is the reason why they ask you that question. As you can see, almost the whole West Coast, including Alaska, um, gets sent to the LA office in the, the mid north. Um, we've got the Chicago office, all of those states get sent to Chicago. In the Northeast, um, everyone goes to New York. And in the South, East slash South mid, um, they all get sent to Washington DC. So just a heads up, um, that's why they ask you this question. And if there are any questions that say, what embassy are you applying to? You can check your state here um, and make sure that your visa gets sent to the correct application Thai embassy office. Then Canada also has two, one in Ottawa and one in Vancouver. So please do check which one um, is closest to your address also. And luckily for the UK island, everything gets sent to London. And then you just need to pay your visa fee for the online application and you're pretty much done. You need to wait for the uh, form they send you, print it out, bring it with you and don't forget to show immigration when you come in. For the people from Australia and New Zealand that you have to apply is to the mail. So you have to send the passport book to them with the, uh, your photos, two photos, an application form to fill and declaration form, the flight details, and also the envelope that have your address so that they can uh, send the passport back to you and also the booking of hotel accommodation that we will send it to you as well. And the bank statement. Also uh, the proof of residential in Australia or New Zealand that you can uh, use the utilities bill or the driving license and also the fee that you have to pay and they accept uh, in cash <clears throat> or in the bank check payment. And also it's the same, like Jasmine said, uh, the $700 that you have to show the immigration when you are arrived in the immigration. So it is separately that they have the right to random check with you. And uh, the passport to mail to uh, for the Australian is to the Royal Thai Embassy in Canberra and uh, the New Zealand to the Wellington. And once it's approved for the people who apply online, it also proceeds uh, 15 business days, which has uh, 
it will turn to your email and this is your visa. So please send it to us once you have this and also print out this visa and carry to Thailand as well. And for the Australia and New Zealand, it will return to you on your passport to be like this page. So uh, when you receive it, please scan it to us as well so that we know you got your visa. And when you are in Thailand, uh, you will receive the visa stamp, which is uh, please show them that you come as a 60 days tourist visa and please check if they stamp and uh, mark the correct date for you is, is 60 days. Sometimes uh, the immigration marks the wrong day to you, like 30 days only. So please recheck and if it's wrong, you have to go back to fix at the airport only. And another thing is the TMC card, which is uh, you have to carry this the whole time when you are in Thailand. And it will require when you uh, stay in the accommodation as well. So uh, please scan this to us as well. And if you lost it, you have to report at the police station. Okay. So if you have any questions, please contact us anytime. We do know the online portal, it does update regularly. So it could be new, interesting questions come up. Um, but you can write us an email to the program's email, send us any documents you need to, and we'll be sure to get back to you. But thank you for joining us today and we hope it helped. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.